In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop the best bunch tight end offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, like I said, we are talking all about the bunch tight end. I honestly, personally, this is just me being 100% transparent with you. Bunch tight end is the offense that I absolutely hate to face. It's the offense I'm borderline scared to face, at least until today. And the reason why is because... I, be I believe the pass protection from bunch tight end is superior. I think it's one of the best pass protection offenses in the entire game. It also combines that with an incredible um, route combos and where the players are actually at on the field, I believe makes this very difficult to stop. That being said, we have a special defense that I'm going to break down in this video that is going to significantly help you defend bunch tight end. So let's get into the video. Now, if you're new to the channel or maybe you haven't heard, I actually started a Patreon this year. So if you want to take your game to the next level and get access to all of my offensive and defensive guides for the season, you can get that over at my Patreon. My Patreon is simply $10 a month. And as long as your subscription is active, you get access to every single guide that I release. So far, I've released 10 offensive and defensive ebooks um, this season, and we've got a ton more planned, and we're updating those guides every single week. Now, that being said, again, it's 10 bucks a month, and you can cancel it whenever you want. So you don't have to sign up for a year. You can just you can, you can can um, get it, use it for what you need for it, and then you can get rid of it whenever you want. So again, you can cancel it at any time. 10 bucks a month unlocks everything, every tip, every offensive ebook, defensive ebook, everything that I do for my Patreons. And so far, we've released, like I said, 10 ebooks this season. Okay, guys, so bunch tight end is really, really hard to defend. Uh, again, if you want to get that, that's in the that's linked down in the comments below. Uh, the number one play is PV it over. We all know how hard this is to stop, and I, and, and I, I don't want to diminish that. I truly believe bunch tight end is probably is, – bunch and bunch tight end together is the best offense, but bunch tight end is really good. I think, I think it's really close to being better than bunch because boot over is so dominant. It's so hard to stop. Um, and the reason why it's so hard to stop is because it requires so much from your user, okay? So that being said, we're going to show you how to stop this out of my favorite defense in the game, which is the nickel 245 odd. Um, you know, we've been running the 245 odd since the game first was released, and we've been having a ton of success with this defense. So we're going to be using the cover six, and the cover six is very quickly and rapidly becoming my favorite defense in the game. I think it's something that is really um, good. I think it's cool that you can adjust out of it significantly. You can create match quarters from this, um, but you can also run the cover six as is, which is what we're going to be doing in this video. So cover six is the play call that we're going to utilize, as you can see right here. Now, we have a very specific adjustment that I really, really want you to pay attention to. We are going to take, we're going to, we're going to just simply QB contain. Okay, that's how we're going to do. We're going to spread our linebackers. Um, we're going to shift our D-line to the right here. The reason why we want to do this is because it, it's going to significantly slow down inside zone. I like to go ahead and press coverage out of this, and the reason why is just because it's going to get us in a better position to stop the run, and it's going to get us in a better position to stop the pass. If you want to, you can show blitz. I don't recommend that, and the reason why is because of what you just saw right there. They can easily pop an inside zone at any point. So we're going to shift our D-line to the right. We're going to press coverage. We're going to QB contain. And what you're going to see here is when we QB contain, you can also shift your linebackers to the right if you want. Okay, And what that's going to do is it's going to put this guy in a really good position to be able to stop inside zone. Now, with your user, you are going to be responsible for using this guy right here. Really, really important adjustment. We're going to man him up onto circle. And the reason why we want to man him up onto that circle receiver, the first inside receiver on that side, is because if we get a match beater, if they if they catch on that we're running cover six, I'm going to show you something um, in just a second. But how as far as how this defends against put over, our primary responsibility is we are going to essentially swoop in for inside zone. Inside zone. We're going to hit the X button to turn our guy around really fast, and we're going to come back in here and defend the crosser, and then we're going to come back over here and defend the delay fade. Now, the three red hook, nine times out of ten, will stop the delay fade as long as, again, you man up on circle. If not, the three red hook, for whatever reason, likes to follow. So, again, I like to shift my line to the right, spread my linebackers, keep it contained, man up my user on that circle receiver, and then please make sure you pass connect. That's one of the most important things that I can tell you to do. So, I'm just going to take a sack on this play, but I want you to watch how this play works. 
So again, we're just going to do this, come back around, release the delay fade, and you see we're pretty much everything's back. Now, again, bear with me. I'm using two controllers, so it's kind of hard to release the delay fade, but I want you to watch what you're going to see here, okay? And really important to watch the contain. So you see here, we're not always going to be able to contain, okay? Just please um, go ahead and just, you know, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Um, it is what it is. You're not always going to be able to contain the quarterback. But what you have is you have this flat zone on the right side. So they're going to have to deal with that. And then you have this three wreck. Now look what this three wreck does. When I man up on circle, you see how the three wreck is sitting right here in the middle of the field? He's waiting for the delay fade. As soon as the delay fade releases, he's going to go uh, cover the delay fade. Okay? So that's kind of part A. Now, part B is this guy. This guy right here is one of the biggest problems in this formation this year, and he's actually, I think, a much more popular route than he was last year. So if you look here, you're going to see we're going to get bracketed coverage. We've got this right here, which if you take a look, I could probably throw up, up past lead. But this deep half, I promise you, is going to split the difference between the crosser and it's going to split the difference here. You're going to be able to click onto this guy and make a lot of plays. I'm just telling you right now, he will make a lot of plays for you. The other thing that you've got is, and again, I was trying to use her and release the delay fade, but my user is really focusing back in here. So I want to come back in here until he gets to about right here. Why? Because if I throw this crosser at this point, I can click on to either one of these guys and have a pretty good ch chance to be able to swat it or pick it. So I'm going to use her with him until he gets to about the numbers. And then at that point, I'm coming back down here and trying to get back down for the delay fade. Okay, now um, we're going to see that occasionally, and I mean occasionally, um, the delay fade will actually release if we stand in the right position. So we want to kind of be right at the numbers, or uh, I'm sorry, not the numbers, but the hash mark. And again, I'm going to show it to you again. So here, come down, come around. And you see how that deep half will bail to that post. Okay, that's really, really important. Now, to imitate my user, just so you can understand my user uh, responsibilities, let's just assume, okay, for, for just a second, let's just assume that I go to guard um, the, the crosser. Let's just assume that, okay? Now, let me just show you the rollout. So if I try to roll out here, nine times out of 10, I'm not gonna be able to. And then if I am, you see that that's going right into the three red hook. That is why it is really important to man up that guy on circle. Because if you don't man up that guy on circle, and let's just say we man this guy up on Y, I'm gonna show you exactly what happens. And this is really the biggest, I think, reason why you know you need to use that man coverage assignment. So you see here, we get the delay. Now look, see how that three rep goes to the right? And now, I mean, it's kind of baity. It honestly is kind of baity. But I'm just telling you, a good bunch tight end player, like if you were playing Civil, I think Civil probably has the best um, grasp because he runs so much of boot over. He just understands how the play works probably better than anyone in the community. And if you're playing him, I guarantee you, if you don't man up circle, you're going to get that all day long. And that's about a 15 yard dot. I, I'm just telling you. So what I like to do is say, okay, let's, and again, this is your user. So you're not actually going to go guard circle. You're just trying to tell the programming of the game that you're going to go guard circle. Okay. Right, so now if I do that, and again, I'm gonna spread my linebackers and shift my line and all that, I would crash your line out. I would really recommend that. But anyways, you're gonna see here, contain, and then you see how that's releasing right into the three rec. That's, that's how you stop that, okay? If you don't man him up, you can't get over there and defend that delay fade. Now, I don't have as much to worry about in terms of the delay fade, so I'm free to, you know, focus on QB contain, the crosser, all that. So you see right here, see how that three wreck, and I'm, I'm trying to get you a little, let me try to get out of the pocket a little bit more. I will say another thing that you can do if you want to is simply go ahead and take like this guy right here and just QB spy him. And the reason why I'm saying that, especially if he's fast, the reason why I'm saying that is because now, let's say you're standing over here with your user, okay? And just ignore my user for a second here. But now what you can do, I'm gonna try to show this as best I can. 
Now you can just send that spy. See how the spy will come in and get him? So that's another thing that you can do to slow down the rollout. The rollout is really what makes this play. In my opinion, it's what makes this play. Now, you know, to be fair to bunch tight end, you know, masters, um, you know, the thing is, if you do that, well, now they've got a lot of opportunity to be able to throw. Right? They can throw from the pocket. There's things they can do. Okay? Now, for just a second, I want to shift uh, the ball over here to this side and talk a little bit just briefly about the flooding concepts that you're likely to get out of this. So the number one flooding concept you're going to get is you're going to get this right here, and they are going to basically do this. Pretty much guarantee you this is the number one flood concept you're going to get. So how does cover six defend this? Well, um, let me just show you. So how does cover six defend this? Well, what you're going to see here is for the most part, it's going to defend it pretty well. As you can see, everything matches accordingly, and the defense plays you know, about as good as you could ask for, okay? Obviously, that guy caught it, but, you know, more than likely, that's going to be a click on pick, okay? Now, let me go ahead and go back to our adjustment here, which is to man up circle, and I want to show you one other little thing that you need to be aware of. Let me go back to curl front corner. What you'll see here is he'll still stay with circle, even though he's manned up. So I think that's important to just show that. You don't have to worry about circle being a problem. Now, the reason we man up circle, and I'm going to show it to you right here. If someone knows what you're doing, let's say you're playing with someone like a civil or an experienced bunch tight end player. They play the game a lot. They know what bus match coverage out of this. Well, what, bat, what bus match coverage is basically this route combo right here. Essentially, this right here is a pretty decent match beater. And what you're going to see is this triangle receiver should be able to essentially get open up the seam. As you saw right there, I had a step. Got a little pressure, but... Um, you know, and honestly, I feel like if you're playing anyone that is average at bunch tight end, if you force them to throw from the pocket, you've won the game already. Because most people don't know how to actually do that in, the, in, in boot over or from bunch tight end. But as you see right there, that bomb is open. This is why I like to man up circle. Um, again, I talked about this in my bunch breakdown, and I'm going to say it one more time. You have to understand who is the problem child. Who's the person that is causing this coverage to break? Well, in this game, in this, in this formation, it's actually that circle receiver, at least in my opinion. That circle receiver is the guy that kind of messes everything up, just like in Bunch, the tight end is the guy that messes everybody up. So now you see here he's manned up, and as you can see now, that bomb that was open is now completely bagged, and the defense plays very, very well. Okay, So in my opinion, cover six is the best defense that you can get against Bunch tight end, and then you can obviously mix other things in. You can mix cover for dropping. Um, you know, but one thing I did want to kind of hit on, two things real quick before we go before we go. You can if you are not having success with the contain aspect of this defense, feel free to take this guy right here and put him in a QB spy. And the reason why is because if I run boot over and I send the spy, it's not gonna send my three wreck, it's gonna send him, and he's gonna run right into him every time. You still have your three rec over there to, to be able to defend the bunt, the the guy, right? And then your users go into the crosser. So that's how this defense works, guys. A lot of detail in this. We have a lot more on our Patreon in our eBooks. If you want to get access to all of my offensive and defensive guides, just be sure to join my Patreon. There's going to be a link down in the description and in the comment section where you can join for just ten dollars a month. For just $10 a month, you'll get access, unlimited access to everything as long as your subscription is active. You can cancel it whenever you want to. And again, as long as your subscription is active, you'll get access to every ebook that I release, every tip, everything that I release over there. So thanks a lot for your time. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. And I would encourage you to uh, sign up for that Patreon. I think you're going to get a lot of value out of that. We've been pumping out guides left and right. A lot of people have been enjoying them. And I just would encourage you to sign up for that. There's a link down below if you want to go sign up. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you guys next time.